Welcome to my backyard. Every summer it looks like a jungle back here because I like growing all different types of plants. I grow things like uh, pawpaws, banana trees, river cane, hibiscus plants, sugar cane, amaranth, all lots of different types of sunflowers. Uh, but one thing I always grow just for fun is teosinte, the ancestor of corn. And so this is where corn came from. And as you can see, it has a lot of similarities to, to corn. The leaves look very similar. It has tassels like corn does. And later on in the summer, it'll have little ears kind of like corn, but they'll be much smaller and it'll, the, the little ears will have silk on it like corn. But as you can see, there's lots of differences as well. So this is one teosinte plant. And this one plant has lots of stalks. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe it might have 15 stalks, whereas most corn plants only gonna have one stalk. And yeah, it does have a tassel, but on any one plant, it has more than one tassel, one for each stalk. So, you know, we might have 20 tassels here. And well, one thing to notice is that, yeah, the tassel looks like, look, usually it looks more like regular corn tassel, this year has been kind of weird, both for the teosinte plant and the corn plant. It's 2022. It's been really hot this summer and really dry. And so this has been, this is the male part of the teosinte plant, the tassel. Looks very much like corn dust, but it started growing leaves out of the tassel, which is abnormal. And also places where it was starting to grow the ears of the corn, it started growing leaves as well. Uh, maybe that's a just kind of response to abnormal environmental conditions, which just so happens that corn has been behaving weird this summer too. I've got some sweet corn where the ears the female part of the corn started growing tassels, the male part of the corn. So this is a strange year where the male and female uh, portions of the plant just don't behave normally. So we've seen teosinte, the ancestor of maize. This is modern maize. This is a uh, sweet corn maize. So it's bred not to be as tall and as high yielding as a lot of maize, but to have lots of lots of sugar in the kernels and with any modern maize variety you're going to have generally one stalk and only one tassel per stalk and there'll be one or two sometimes three ears and in case you didn't know this so the tassels where the pollen is produced the pollen is dispersed by wind and we have the silk on the corn cob each one of these little silks is attached to a corn kernel. So for this ear to get fully pollinated and have little corn kernels all throughout the corn, there has to be enough pollen here that some pollen falls on each of these little silk threads. And generally, sweet corn is ready whenever the silk turns dark brown and is very dry, kind of like if you imagine a dead silk. And also, when you can take the ear and you can go into it and sometimes this is called the milking stage and when you can go into it and you can just press some of the kernels with your finger and a milky liquid comes out then you know it's ready now this is an example of a kernel that did not get good pollination there's two things wrong here one We had a worm, corn worm, who was eating a lot of it. And two, you could tell that there's very few kernels on this corn. And it's probably not because there's not enough pollen here, there's plenty of pollen here. It might be that it got so hot this summer, the corn just had trouble making enough pollen. 